Hey, welcome back to a new video. It's been a while since I have been uploading a video. But that's because, as you could see in the time lapse, I've been working on this build. And this build took me about 15 hours to make. So yeah, it took, it took a little a little time. And of course, not 15 hours in one day. I actually had to stretch it out over a few weeks because I have other things to do in life as well. But yeah. I am super duper proud of this building and I think this is one of those buildings that uh, will always be iconic. Today I want to show you how I made this and how I came up with the idea and basically all the steps to how to bake something like this. I'm not going to do a tutorial block by block because 15 hours in creative if I have to do a 15 hours long tutorial video then uh, yeah this channel will die so I'm not gonna do that but I will tell you how to make something like this and how you can come up with your own ideas and where you should start and how you should build up something like this it's much like my previous buildings this one is just a time-lapse video so I didn't really show you how to make it but this build I actually did and actually it's pretty similar the way I did it, the way I started up and the way I basically make, made this building. It's mostly the same with this building as well. Always before we actually do the tutorial, I want to show you the house and I will do a little tour. And before I do the tour, I want to kindly ask you to subscribe. Just simply hit that like button and that's actually the like button is not really needed. Just hit the subscribe button, that's all I need. It really helps my channel and my last video or the video that of the building that I just showed you did really really well. I got so many views so thank you so much. It helps me out a lot uh, and I just want to thank you ev for everybody that follows me right now and is new. And that actually helped me out to get over the 500 subscribers. So for a, sh for a small youtube channel like me and that doesn't really exist that long it's a really big milestone so thank you for all the help and let's do the tour of this building so to get a, a top view of this building uh, we have a road that connects to the front door uh, like you can park your car over here if minecraft had a car um, we have a little patio or sitting area sitting place outside which is nice we'll look in a minute uh, for the rest we have some glass roofs and this is I think the jewel of the whole building the greenhouse this thing I had it in my mind to make this uh, and I just had an idea of how I wanted to make it but honestly it is so beautiful I'm so <laughs> incredibly happy with how it turned out so yeah I can't wait to show you the inside you probably saw it in the timelapse anyway but uh, let's just go through it so let's start as if we are actually walking up to the house to the front door and immediately you can see how big actually these windows are they are four wide and like really tall I really like them uh, and it gives this kind of grand grand design grand feeling as if things are really big especially because the floor is a slab lower than a normal full block so yeah it, it really helps out and here is the front door with a little like overhang to keep our head like nice and dry when it rains some lights and then we get in so the house is not really that deep more long than deep so there are just a few blocks between this door and the back door the door towards the garden which doesn't exist we have the nice uh, light for the, the nice glass ceiling and nice chandelier and here's the uh, the entrance to the greenhouse which we will see in a second but first we are going this way and actually i normally don't do the inside i just really wanted to do the inside of this building so i kept everything as wide as possible i used the new calcite blocks which look really beautiful they're really really good good looking blocks and they look like marble so uh, yeah i i use the calcite blocks so we get in here this is the big building the actually the the biggest of them all the ceiling is really high we have some nice chandeliers and big stair in the middle and some living space over here and over here uh, then we have this like extension part out here 
which leads to the balcony that we saw from the outside as you can see that leads to this part over here and uh, then we go inside and we have a stair over here that leads upwards of up to the attic of that extension part it's not big there are no windows or anything it's just a little attic for well maybe your storage or whatever maybe you have a lot a lot of wine <laughs> you can store your wine here then we have this big stairs over here and you probably wonder what's up here then we go up here and there is literally nothing so then we go downwards and then we can also go one more lower uh, over here and again i didn't really do any kind of detail because this is underground you can make it as big as you want so you can like dig down a hundred blocks that way and a hundred blocks that way uh it doesn't really matter so you have like a not really a cellar but just just a nice uh, lower part of your house which is underground so you can make a really big uh, room out of this or just keep it at at this room over here this room is the one that is ben beneath the extension so if we go let's see if we go through here I will get some glass so we can repair that I forgot to make a door over here but you can make a door it's right beneath the extension as you can see so yeah really cool and that way you can walk out and you can actually go through this nice um, well what do you call it <laughs> looks really cool you walk underneath it and you have this nice little garden and sitting area for your friends and family and enough space you can maybe put a like a bonfire over here or whatever really cool stuff uh, but yeah that's basically this part and then we have only one place left which is the greenhouse and this place honestly is the best place i've ever made like uh if it in terms of greenery in terms of like uh, making things pretty i think this is my best work yet so just walking in here is just beautiful i made sure to use these new flowering or spore flowering blossom or whatever they are called to make it even more magical with all these particles uh, we have all the nice birds over here the nice parrots and it just looks amazing like two palm trees a lot of greenery we have a sitting area over here a nice fountain made by arrows this is not really good to do if you are on a server because it's lagging the server out but uh yeah because this is a uh, single player world and a flat world this is not that bad we have a nice flower garden over here so you can do your your flowers and your your potted plants Here's some nice little walkways, some bamboo everywhere, like a nice little river with a little, um, like, just a simple uh, bridge that leads to the sitting area. And of course the big stair that goes all the way up. And over here you have like these hanging pots for maybe flowers or whatever you put in into these barrels. And you also have the nice sitting place over here with some lights. And the fun thing about this, or the beautiful thing about this, is that I made sure that it looks good in every time of day. So if I would say, slash time uh, set night, then even at night, this looks incredible. With a nice moon at the horizon, uh, we have these nice lights lighting up the sitting area. Not a lot of light over here, which is fine nice lights for uh, the flower part some lights in that corner and in that corner and up here as well as where you have the sitting area and this is just such an amazing part to sit like i wish this was real i wish i could just be here and like in real life and just breathe in the nice clean air that these plants give you it's such a beautiful place and all the glass that you can see all the stars and everything just I'm really really proud of this uh, this part this is I think the best part I have ever made if it comes to greenery so yeah I'm really happy so now that I have shown you this building it's time to do the time lapse of me actually building this whole house 
and how I actually did it. So last time I made a video and I paused uh, while the time lapse was running and told you what I was actually doing at that moment. Um, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. So first I'm going to show you how I made this building just by the time lapse itself. After that we will talk over everything that is happening on this building and how you can make it yourself. So I will just show you and walk around and show you like um, this is a cool trick to do, this is a cool trick to use and in that way um, I can show you uh, some nice little details you can put in your own building. If you really want a detailed version of my tutorial then watch this video up here as you can see in the corner right now. So watch that video, there I really show you how I normally make my buildings. The same count for this building, so they are basically the same. So I will stop talking and enjoy this time lapse. So I hope you like the time lapse. Now I'm going to show you how to actually make this building. And I'm going to do it step by step, at least how I do the steps uh, or what kind of steps I make to make such a big building. And I, I'm not going to show you like how I build stuff, my, but just like the, the simple steps that you can take and use to make something like this. Now I will say that if you make something big, please do it first in creative before you put it into survival because if you don't do that survival can be really painful if you do something wrong then it takes ages to take it down so yeah make sure that all your your calculations are correct so let's talk first about the first step that everybody should do which is lining out your building which i also did with the other buildings over there if you make something that is not uh, of reference, so you have no reference material like a picture on Google or something like that, 
and you make it all out of your own imagination then please put it first into lines before you actually make anything because sometimes it can be that you make a wrong calculation and things won't work out or things are just not able to ma be made in minecraft because we are still used to or we are still like bound to all these blocks and sometimes it won't really fit in so yeah make that make sure that everything fits in um these red lines are i just use colors um purely to help myself you don't have to do that you can also use one block uh, first step is that I use the red line or the red wool uh, to use on all the uh, pillars so all the sides of the building like here starts uh, or ends a corner of a building there's another corner there's another corner there's another corner um, yeah and so on and so on over here as well all the corners I use blue wool for the roofs as you, as you can see the green is there for uh, helping me out where the the ground will be where the grass will be so this will be like a ground level and as you can see i opened it up over here because i knew that i wanted to extend it downwards and as you, as you can see as well over here the pillars of this part are all the way down to this ground level instead of that one so it just really helps me out to put everything in perspective that i know all right so this is how big the build will be is this big enough? Is this small enough? Uh, is it not weird looking or anything? And then you can go to the next step. So this is also the part that I want to show you which uh, the way I always work. So let's play. As you can see, you see me building over here. This is just a replay mod by the way. So uh, to give you some um, good advice, when you make something big like this, it's always great to have some kind of idea with what kind of blocks you will build with and what kind of blocks you use to make a building so instead of doing all everything at once like every corner at once and every roof at, roof at once first i do one face of the building just to give myself an idea of like well this looks great or well no the actually sandstone is not really the color that i want because as you can see I first made everything out of sandstone and I used the stone as some detail block but later down the line I actually turned that around so the stone is actually the wall block and the sandstone is the detail one and you can see me building it right now also a great tip uh, which I also told in that video or from that building make the walls a little thicker if you are able to and you have the space for it please use three or four blocks so as you can see I use the detail blocks for everything outside the windows like all the details and arches and everything then we have the middle block which is the actual wall color oh it's actually the wall color of the actual building itself that you see the most of and then we have the inner block where the glass is located so in that way you can put a lot of detail in just three blocks um, thick or wide uh, which gives so much more style to your building instead of just one straight uh, one block thick wall so please if you're able to if your build is big enough use more blocks than just one block please it's a really good and helpful tip to do especially with big building so yeah keep that in mind as you can see i also did the uh, roof part at least i gave myself an idea of like okay so i want to use these uh, blocks to give the details around um, the roof and then you have the roof itself which i want to make of prismarine so uh, in that way i had the idea of like yeah that looks good i made sure that all the corners of the building had like a thicker pillar so as you can see they are extended by two blocks over here and over there uh, instead of just making a corner right away it's all about detail it's really all about detail what looks good what doesn't look good and at the end um, will it fit together with everything else so yeah again make it in creative instead of survival because that helps so much more and it saves you a lot of time and headaches so yeah so let's go to the next helpful tip and trick you can do so we are a little bit further into the building 
And as you can see, I swapped the sandstone out with normal stone uh, to give it more a grayer look than the golden, like yellow look that the sandstone has. And here you can see me actually using some greenery. And why I do this is purely to give myself an idea of, well, does greenery fit with uh, these type of blocks? Look, I go backwards, as you can see. <laughs> it's really funny to see myself working on this. Just to see myself or see the building from a distance and that helps a lot. So if you are making something, every time when you make something go a few blocks back uh, or a few steps uh, backwards, like I do right now, as you can see, just to give myself, give yourself a good look on uh, what you did and if it actually fits or not. And I think right here, I'm actually satisfied with what I made. So if you're wondering, can I make something like this? Am I really a good builder? Just use these tips and you will be fine. It takes some practice, of course, but like uh, this will really help you if you uh, keep an eye on what you're building instead of just standing in front of the blocks that you actually place down without actually looking at the rest of the building. Also a quick mention, if you want a grid pattern into your glass, I use trapdoors at the back of the glass and in front I use the chains. So if you look from a distance, as you can see, you have this grid pattern into the glass, uh, which looks really, really good. So that's also a nice helpful tip. If you really want that, then you can make it like this. Because the wall will be uh, one block inwards and go around uh, all these trapdoors so they won't really stick out that much. So now we are a little bit further into the building and there I go again placing some blocks. So now looking at the rest of the building as you can see everything is pretty much the same. And for me it's really easy because I use world edit so I can like copy a part of the building and paste it on the other side. But in reality if you make something like this it's not that bad to actually especially with these kind of old grand buildings it's not bad to copy something so as you can see we have the same windows we have the same arches over here but also on this side of the wall or building also on this side we have the same uh, kind of uh, building or kind of structure with the windows these are only three wide instead of four wide um, yeah, so I just copied and pasted it all around and it doesn't look that bad. So just keep that in mind that it is not really that strange if you copy a part of your building and then paste it on the other side. Because for some buildings that actually looks pretty good, like this one. So also don't worry about that. Maybe if you build something more abstract like my modern buildings on my channel then yes you can't really copy and paste everything around it but in this kind of situation I can also making the roof a little bit more detailed and interesting I put all these kind of towers and little pointy like pointy thingies on top of it I don't know what you call them uh, but just to give it a little bit more detail and as you can see if you look from a distance that actually looks a lot better and has a really nice vibe to it instead of just uh, like stopping it over here at this prismarine and then just flatten it and do nothing about it so yeah this looks really good all these nice details and up next is also a part of the detail of the roof so before we are going to look at this part uh, I first want to talk about the roof again which is these little windows on the side and why I talk about this is because it gives your roof an actually more uh, like detailed look. It gives a little bit more uh, spice to your roof because sometimes a roof can be really flat like this side and there is not really really a lot to it and it can look a little bit bland especially if the rest underneath it is really detailed. So make sure that when you make a roof uh, make sure to put one of these windows up here uh, especially if you have a slanted roof these kind of little windows can help a lot and sell this build a lot uh, more and make it more realistic so last tip of today tips about greenery 
if you want to make anything that has uh, greenery inside of it a lot of bushes and a lot of like details um, don't go overboard that first and use a lot of different materials uh, which complements each other now to give you a good example can you spot any sunflowers no i thought so because sunflower wouldn't really fit in here that's purely why i didn't place any sunflowers in here but only use like these uh, purple and the red kind of flowers um, because they complement this building a lot why because i use these new azalea uh, leaves or whatever they are, they are called because they have pink inside of them and pink and like purple and red they really complement each other so that's why i use these colors together now this build is big but is not that big and i can't really fit any other tree in here so i use two palm trees it's not too crowded as you can see you can still walk around um, also obstruction of your own site is also really important with greenery you don't want like big bushes in front of here and then um, like uh, small bushes at the back why because then your view is blocked mostly it's the other way around small in the front and back a little higher that's why these bamboo uh, trees or bamboo is actually higher over here than the greenery that i put here in front which is also not a lot so yeah with that said we are actually done with the tutorial i hope you enjoyed i hope you could actually learn something today um yes this is not a block by block tutorial uh, because this is actually like that's impossible for this building so a lot of people are asking for a, a world download of this world with all my other buildings don't you worry one day it will be out there it's just a lot of work uh, and i just want to fill this world a little bit more before i give this world to you guys uh, because i still have a lot of ideas and plans that i'm working on so yeah um just be patient and the best way to show your appreciation and show that you are actually waiting for this world is by hitting the subscribe button again sorry sorry for, <laughs> sorry for asking but it really helps me out a lot and one day i want to hit the thousand subscribers so that i actually can do youtube full time which is for me the best thing i can actually ever wish for is to do this full time and to make these kind of gorgeous buildings for you guys for free full time instead of that i have to work weekly and then uh have the weekends to actually make something like this so thank you for everybody that considers that everybody that actually helps me out and tell, let me know what you think of this building so let me know down in the comments what you think of this building did you like it did you not like it what did you like about it so let me know and let me know what you want to see next time so with further ado i see you guys in the next video